The Kannada people known as the Kanadigas and Kanadagaru are a Dravidian ethnic group who speak Kannada as their mother tongue and trace their ancestry to the Indian state of Karnataka. Significant Kannada minorities are found in the Indian states of Maharashtra mainly in Pune, Kolhapur and Sulapur, Tamil Nadu mainly in Coimbatore and Oti, Andhra Pradesh mainly in Hyderabad, Ananthpur and Chittor, and Goa and in other Indian states. The English plural is Kanadigas. After a millennium of disintegration from Old Kannada into various languages, sister languages and Kannada dialects, modern Kannada stands among 30 most widely spoken languages of the world as of 2001. Early settlements Settlement in Karnataka is found to be existent at least from the 2nd millennium BC as explored in Brahmagiri archaeological site near Chitradurga district, central Karnataka. Chandravali exploration has revealed interaction of Roman and Chinese travellers around the 2nd and 3rd century BC. Talagunda and Halmidi stand as the oldest excavated inscriptions as available today. The language was once popular from Kaveri to Godavari as mentioned in the Kannada classic Kavirajamarga of 850 CE. Archaeological evidences show Kannada inscriptions found as far north as Madhya Pradesh inscription of Krishna III and Bihar. The Great Karnataka expansion provides insights to kingdoms of northern India whose originators were from Kannada country, the major empires and kingdoms, their regal capital and most distinguished kings were. Western Ganga dynasty, Talakadu, Dervinita Kadamba dynasty, Banavasi, Mayarasharma, Mayaraverma Badami Shalukya, Badami, Palakeshin II Rashtrakuta, Manyaheta, Amogavarsha I Hoysala, Bailur and Halbidu, Veera Balala II Kalyani Shalukya, Basavakalyana, Vikramaditya VI Southern Kalachari, Kalyani, Bayala II Vijayanagara Empire, Hampi, Hakka, Bukka, Kaladi Nayaka, Akari, Shivapa Nayaka, Haleri Kingdom, Kodagu, Mudaraha, Kingdom of Mysore, Mysoru, Chika Devaraja Wodiarminor dynasties that have played an important role in the development of Kannada, culture and polity were Chudas of Banavasi, feudatory to Satavahana Empire, Tuluva dynasty of Kanara, Radas of Sandati, Belgam, Guttas of Guttal, Darwad region, Banas of Kolar, Nolambas of Nolambavadi, Vaidumbas, Chengalvas, Kongalvas, Sendrakas of Nagarkonda, Banavasi province, Yalahanka Nataprabhu Kempagada, Sindhas of Yelburga, Bijapur Gulb Barga, Kadamba of Hangul. In addition, other well-known kingdoms that patronized Kanadiga poets and Kannada language were Eastern Chalukyas Kakatiya dynasty Sunna Yadavas of Devagiri Shilahara Kadambas of Goa <laughs> Immigrants from Karnataka In addition to those empires that ruled from the Karnataka region, based on inscriptions and literary evidence historians have discussed the possibility that kingdoms of Kannada origin were established in other parts of India as well. The Karnata dynasty founded by Nanyadeva I of Mathila and Nepal, however contrary evidence also suggests that this dynasty may have been of Parmar Rajput origin. The Chalukyas of Gujarat The Chalukyas of Vengi Eastern Chalukya, the Sunna Yadavas of Devagiri, the Rashtrakuta family ruling from Berar, modern Amravati district, Maharashtra, the Rashtrakutas branch of Gujarat, Lata branch, the Sena dynasty of Bengal, the Eastern Gangas of Orissa, descendants of the Western Ganga dynasty. Topic: <laughs> Kannada art. Architecture Architecture and sculpture has been the epitome of art in Karnataka. Be it the musical pillars of Hampi, which is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Ekashila monolithic statue of Gamechavara Bahabali that was voted by Indians as the first of seven wonders of India, the Yelu Suthana coat of Chitradurga the fort of seven laps cutting across hill or the wholesomeness of carvings of temples which bear down all desires to be left out of it and formless above all forms all-encompassing the inner Garbhagrahas. The temples of Karnataka had in them many shyly or varieties to credit. 
a majority of the temples were built using the locally available stones. Some of the places of interest are Ellora Caves houses the Kailasanatha Temple of Eloru was built by the Rashtrakutas dynasty and is declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO Elephanta Caves Island was a summer resort of Rashtrakuta kings and is declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO Konark Sun Temple also called Surya Devalaya and Black Pagoda built in coastline of Odisha, India by Narasimhadeva I of the Eastern Ganga dynasty is declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Ajanta Caves have sculptures of Rishrakutas and Badami Shalukas and is declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Hampi houses the ruins of the Vijayanagara Empire and is declared as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Patadakal is a Vesara style of Hindu temple architecture, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Badami Cave Temples, a regal capital of the Badami Shalukas, now famous for its sandstone cave temples. Ihole is known for its many temples and inscriptions of Shalukya Palakeshin II in the Old Kannada script. Basavakalyan, a major center of social and religious movement in the 12th century by Basava, consists of temples in Shalukyan architecture. Atagi is home to the Shiva temple built by Vikramaditya. Considered to be the best specimen of Kalyani Shalukyan art, it has as many as 68 decorated pillars, an ornate tower, and a doorway of great workmanship. Lakundi, Baylor Hailbidu Srivanabelagola Samawakishava Temple, Nagamangala Lakshminarayana Temple, Hosaholalu Malakarjuna Temple, Basaralu Akari Kaladi Banavasa Pioneer sculptors include Amarashilpi Jakanachari Ruvari Maladama Chavundaraya Siddhalinga Swami K. Venkatapamodern day contemporaries include visionary architects such as Mokshagundam Visvesvaraya, father of modern Indian engineering, Kanambadi Kat or KRS Dam, Kengal Hanumantheya, Vedana Sutta. Music Dasa Sahitya is the literature of bhakti movement composed by devotees in honor of Lord Vishnu or one of his avatars. Dasa is literally, servant, in Kannada and Sahitya is literature. Haridasas, servants of God, were preachers of bhakti to Vishnu. The bhakti literature of these Haridasas is collectively referred to as Dasa Sahitya. It is composed in the Kannada language. The Haridasas richly contributed to the heritage of Karnataka music. They made an indelible impression on the religious and cultural life of Karnataka by spreading the didactic teachings in a musical form to the hearts of the common folk. Like other doyans of Indian classical music, these scholars offered prayer to Vishnu through music, called Nadapasana. The Lord is described as Samagana Priya, and Bhakti through music is the most preferred path to reach him. The Haridasa compositions are popularly known as Devaranamas. Compositions like Krishna ne Bhagain Bharo, Venkatachala Nilayam, Jagadadarana, Tambori Mitadava are some of the many examples of their scholarly work. Some noted Haridasas or composers of Dasa Sahitya are Parandara Dasa, widely regarded as Karnataka Sangeeta Patamaha or Father of Carnatic Music. Kanaka Dasa, a younger contemporary of Parandara Dasa, Sripadaraja, Vyasatirtha. Vidirajadirtha Jagannatha Dasa Jayatirtha Gopala Dasa Vijaya Dasa Naraharadar The one of the oldest forms of music in the region is Karnataka Shastriya Sangeetha which has evolved over ages. Both Hindustani and Karnataka variations are respected and nurtured by Kanadigas. Bhavijit and Sugama Sangeetha are some innovations. Other forms of music include Gamaka, Jugara Pada and Lavani. Yakshagana is considered a unique and indigenous form of both music and dance of Karnataka. Contemporary musical thespians are Pandit Bhimsan Joshi, recipient of the Bharat Ratna India's highest civilian honour, Gangubai Hangal, awarded both Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan in 1971 and 2002 respectively. C. Aswath, recipient of Karnataka Rayatsava Prashasti for his immense contribution to Bhavijit. Veen Doreswami Iyengar Puttaraj Gawai Hanapa Bhagavathar P. Kalinga Rao 
Balapa Hukari Malakarjuna Mansur Basavaraja Rajguru Veen Shishana T. Chaudhaya Sawai Gandharva Kumar Gandharva Mysore Ananthaswami Mysore Manjanath Theatre Rangabhumi or the theatre culture is a tradition with Kanadigas. While a lot of Gaudiya literature is written in praise of the heroic characters of the epics and Puranas, there are major works depicting the kings and their rule. These are called Nataka, plays having wide-ranging stages for performance like Rangamansha staged in either theatres or on streets and Bayalata. As its etymology indicates, Bayalu means open air field and Ata means theatre. In southern Karnataka, the eastern and western varieties of Yakshagana are termed Bayalata, whereas in the north several other distinct genres are included under the name. Harakatha, which covers an entire night, is another form where one or more person tells a story in an outstanding manner accompanied by music at background. It is a common feature to narrate battles, stories, devotions or vratha in front of temples on auspicious days like Dussehra and Maha Shivaratri. Harakatha is a composite art form composed of storytelling, poetry, music, drama, dance, and philosophy. Today, late-night Harakatha sessions are organized overseas where Kanadiga population is considerable. Vasanta Habba, Vasanta Habba which means, Spring Festival. In Kannada is a cultural festival organized by the Enritiagram Foundation in Bengaluru. It is a very popular event and is considered the classical Woodstock of India. First held in 1990, it now attracts the best musicians, dancers and cultural artists from across India. Similarly, Bengaluru Habba Bengaluru Habba is a congregation of art performances at places in the city which is successfully celebrated every year. It aims to provide aesthetic entertainment to a wide cultural, social and demographic cross-section of the city's people by partnering with corporates and other stakeholders since 2003. In 2006, the government of Karnataka tried to bring the folklore and art into the city of Bengaluru by initiating Janapada Jatra Janapada Jater which was hugely successful and received well by art lovers. It is usually held on select weekends in Lalba and other parts of the city. Some famous theatrical, cinematic, and television personalities like T. P. Kailasam, Gubi Virana, C. Hanapa Bhagavathar, G. V. Iyer, Dr. Rajkumar, Puttana Kanagal, Kalpana, B. S. Ranga, B. V. Karanth, Gurish Kasaravali, Shankar Nag, T. S. Nagabharana, T. N. Sitharam have contributed for its richness. Dance forms The mystic and spirited reliving of legends and epics are the major depictions in dance forms. With the theatre of battle scenes of heroism, loyalty and treachery, colour and pageantry are the main subjects. More are adapted with the course of nature and seasons adding colour to the harvesting seasons. Tribal forms of dance can be found limited in the regions inhabited by Soligas, of which Pinasi is a traditional dance form. The people of Kodagu in the Western Ghats also have their own dance forms. Some of the folk dances and classical dance forms in Karnataka include Dolu Kunatha, a popular drum dance accompanied by singing Kamsale, dance to the tune of a rhythm instrument of the same name made of brass Virages, a vigorous dance based on Hindu mythology which is demonstrated at the Mysore Dussehra procession Yakshagana is a musical theatre popular in coastal and Malinadu regions of Karnataka Gorudi Gombe, where dancers adorn themselves with giant doll suits made of bamboo sticks Mudalapaya Bayalata featuring stories of Puranas rendered as dance <laughs> Kala Shetras the abode of art. Karnataka Chitrakala Parishat Chaudhaya Memorial Hall Gayana Samaja Ranga Shankara N. Rithya Grama Ravindra Kalakshetra Gubi Virana Rangamandira Janapada Loka Rangayana Ninasam Prabhat Kalavidaru Martial arts 
The martial arts more prevalent in parts of North Karnataka with Garadi main present in every village and ahead to train the youngsters into fit individuals. Kusthi, Mala Yudda, Kati Varese which can be seen depicted in virages and similar to sword fighting, Mala Kamba gymnastics on a pole structure with, without rope are some of the prominent arts practiced. The Mysore Odayars arrange Kaalaga or fights like Vajramushti during Dussehra festival which is made less frightening these days as they are publicly staged. Rock lifting, bull race, kusthi, and kabaddi are popular sports. Yogasana, pranayama, and health related camps are very popular throughout the state, and some of the best yoga practitioners can be found here. Art of Living is one such organization immensely popular all over the world. Maladahali Sri Raghavendra Swami K. Patabi Joys Festivals Kanadigas celebrate festivals throughout the year presenting the diverse culture and belief of the ethnicity. Festivals have varied reasons to celebrate. Agriculture, upon onset of monsoon, sowing or harvest there are festivals celebrated like Chandramana Ugadi marking of New Year, Makara Sankranthi and Huttari. Monsoon, Dussehra, Navratri, Ayuda Puja Purana, Maha Shivratri, Varamahalakshmi Vrata, Bhimana Amavasi, Swarna Gauri Vratha, Ganesha Chaturthi, Nagara Panchami, Ratha Saptami, Krishna Janmashtasami, Rama Navami, Vijaya Dashami, Vaikunta Ekadashi, Naraka Chaturdashi, Bali Padayami, and others. In the countryside, Adena Jathar livestock fair is held, which is a conglomeration of people where a local demigod is worshipped and a Ratha or Thuru chariots are moved by the Bhaktas and Dasoha free food is arranged for the the visitors. North Karnataka has a unique blend of Hindu and Muslim brotherhood with people celebrating festivals in unison and exchanging goodwills owing to great revolutionary Shishunala Sharif and Guru Govinda Bhatta who had displayed their religious tolerance and spiritual unity of all religions. Christmas is celebrated at large in Bengaluru and Mangaluru which host some of the oldest churches and educational institutions of the country. Buddha, Mahavira, Shankara, Basavanna and Gandhi are remembered on their birth anniversaries. Topic: <coughs> Cuisine. The cuisine of Karnataka includes many vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. The varieties reflect influences from the food habits of many regions and communities from the three neighboring South Indian states, as well as the state of Maharashtra to its north. Supa Shastra is notable medieval Kannada literally work written in 1508 AD on the subject of Kannada cuisine. Some typical everyday dishes in Kannadiga homes include Bisi Bel Bath, Jolada Rati, Ragi Rati, Akki Rati, Saaru, Huli, Devanagir Ben Dosa, Ragi Mud, Chitrana lemon rice, and Upatu. The famous Masala Dosa traces its origin to Udupi cuisine. Plain and Rave Idli, Mysore Masala Dosa and Madur Vade are very popular in South Karnataka. Kadabu, a kind of rice dumplings, is a popular and ethnic food in South Malnad regions such as Sakaleshpura, Mudajir, Samwarapete, etc. and is consumed with hushalu black sesame chutney. Among sweets, Mysore Pak, Darwad Peta, Chiroti, Belagavi Kunda are well known. Hernagadab, Hernaholaj, Karadantu of Gokak and Amingar, Shenga Holaj and Sajka have origins in the Malnad region. Indus chutneys of Karnataka have a very distinct taste and flavor. Some popular ones include Shenga Indi, Groundnut, Agashi Indi, Karal Indi, Anichi Indi and Mavina Indi mango. Similarly, Karnataka Upanakai pickles too are very distinct from the rest like Mavina Thaku fine mango pickles, Nimbakai Upanakai lemon pickles, Tenga Mavina Upanakai entire mango pickle, Gajri Upankai carrot pickle and Menchanikai Upanakai chili pickle. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Costumes. The costume of Kannada people varies from place to place. The Kanadiga male costume mainly include panchi some tie as kachchi or lunji wrapping style depends on the region, anji a traditional form of shirt and pita turban worn in Mysuru style or darwad style. Shalya is a piece of long cloth which is put on shoulder commonly seen in countryside. Many use khadi in their clothing till date of which politicians are prominent ones. 
Female costumes include seer of which a local seer and Mysore silk are famous. Seer has variations of draping depending on regions like Kodagu, North and South Karnataka and Karavali. Young women in some parts of Karnataka traditionally wear the langa davani. Kasuti is a form of embroidery work which is very popularly sought after art on dress and costumes. An urban male costumes comprises a trouser, shirt and sandals while that of females include shalwar and moderate heeled sandals. Jeans are popular among the youth, while New Age khadi, silk printed with art or emblem also find place. Karnataka has the only village in the country which produces authentic Indian national flags according to manufacturing process and specifications for the flag are laid out by the Bureau of Indian Standards at Hubli. Literature Kannada literature is filled with literary figures and pioneers all through. With an unbroken literary history of over a thousand years, the excellence of Kannada literature continues into the present day. Works of Kannada literature have received eight Jnanpith Awards and 56 Sahitya Akademi Awards. Pampa, Rana, and Pana are considered as three jewels of old Kannada. Jana was another notable poet of this genre. Basavana, Akka Mahadevi, Alama Prabhu, Madhvacharya, Vidyaranya, Harihara, Raghavanka, Kumara Vyasa, Sarvina, Parandara Dasa, Kanaka Dasa, Shishunala Sharifa, Raghavendra Swami etc. were pioneers of Nadugainada. All these have been involved with social and cultural movements and hence this was the golden era of literature which brought about a renaissance in Kannada literature. They all had a characteristic namankita insignia which would denote a power equaling a god in popular comparison. The literature saw the vachana said, tattva that ness, sharana savior of god, and dasa servant to god, padas short poetries reach the common man's ignorance into great depths leading to siddhanta philosophies. Kuvampu, D. V. Gundapa, Dara Bendra, B. M. Srikantaya, Masti Venkatesha Iyengar, Shivram Karanth, V. K. Gokak, U. R. Ananthamurthy, P. Lankesh, Gurish Karnad, G. S. Shivarudrapa, Gora Ramaswami Iyengar, Pu T. Narasimachar, Chenavira Kanavi, Gopalakrishna Adiga, Tarasu, A. N. Krishna Rao, Govinda Pai, S. L. Barapa, Pornachandra Tihazwi, Thrivani, K. S. Nisar Ahmed, K. S. Narasimaswami, Chandrashakara Kambara, Siddhaya Puranik, G. P. Rijaruthnam, T. P. Kailasam, Anupama Niranjana, M. K. Indira, M. M. Kalbergi, T. V. Venkatachala Sastri, Dada Rangagada, etc., are popular literary figures. This period was amalgamation of literature works which crossed across boundaries under a vast roof encompassed by art and theatre fields. The literature works of Kannada in Navadaya is crowned with eight Jnanpith awards. Kannada Thantramsha or software is developed under Kuvampu University. There is a sizable open source community based in Bengaluru. Some of the contemporary active institutions of Kannada literature are Kannada Sahitya Parishat Academies operating as its wings include Tulu, Konkani, Kodava, and Urdu. A Bayari Academy is the latest academy opened in Karnataka. Jaya Bharata Jananiya Tanujatenadid travelers and linguists have also contributed during pre- and post-imperial era like Germany's Ferdinand Kittel, England's Thomas Hodson, Persia's Abid al-Razak Samarkandi and China's Wen Sang. <laughs> <laughs> Kannada journalism Mangaluru Samachara was the first Kannada news publication as early as 1843 by German missionary Hermann Mogeling. Followed by Beshiam Bashyachar who is credited with publishing the first Kannada weekly from Mysore Mysuru Bodini, in 1859 under the royal patronage of Krishnaraja Wadiyar III. Shortly after Indian independence in 1948, K. N. Guruswami founded the printers Mysore Private Limited and began publishing two newspapers, Deccan Herald and Prajavani. Presently the Times of India and Vijaya Karnataka are the largest selling English and Kannada newspapers respectively. D. V. Gundapa was notable Kannada journalist, he was awarded third highest civilian award Padmabhushan in 1974. List of a few major newspapers Prajavani Samyukta Karnataka Kannada Prabha Udayavani Vijayavani Hosa Digantha Visvavani News 
Vijaya Karnataka Contemporary popular Kanadigas Spiritual leaders Shivakumara Swami, Siddhaganga Matha, Tumkar, Karnataka Balagangadharanatha Swamiji, Sri Adichunchanagiri Maha Samsthana Math Shivamurthy Shivacharya Mahaswamiji Taralabalu Jagadguru Brahanmath, Sirije Sri Vishwisha Tirtharu Pejavara Sri Galavaru Birendra Kashava Tarakananda Puri Ravi Shankar, Art of Living Gandhian philosophers Kadidal Manjapa former Chief Minister of Karnataka H. Narasimeya Kalor Malapa B. D. Jati, former President and Vice President of India Mailara Mahadevapa only person from Karnataka to accompany Gandhiji in Dandi Salt Satyagraha, March Gudlepa Halakari Modern science and technology N. K. Naik, Professor Emeritus at IIT Bombay. Raja Ramana, Indian nuclear scientist and father of the Indian nuclear bomb. Udupi Ramachandra Rao, UR Rao Indian space scientist and father of the Indian modern space technology. Served as the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization and as the Chancellor of Indian Institute for Space Science and Technology IIST. Dr. M. C. Modi, ophthalmologist and humanist. C. N. R. Rao, notable solid-state scientist and chairman of Science Advisory Council of GOI. Recently awarded with India's highest civilian award Bharat Ratna, K. N. Shankara, Indian space scientist and master in satellite payload technology. Shakuntala Devi, mathematics. Vivek Murthy American physician serves as the 19th Surgeon General of the United States. Narayan Hosmani, biochemistry and cancer research. S. K. Shivkumar, scientist, ISRO telemetry ISRO, associated with Chandrayaan-1 lunar probe. Radham Narasimha, Senior Scientist IISC, Chairman JNCASR. C. R. Rao, Statistics, Mathematician. Professor Emeritus at Penn State University. Srinivas Kulkarni, Professor of Astrophysics and Planetary Science at Caltech, United States of America. S. Shankar Sastri, Dean of the College of Engineering at the University of California, Berkeley. L. S. Shushidara, developmental biologist, geneticist and a professor and chair of biology at Indian Institutes of Science Education and Research M. Visvesvaraya, Indian scholar and engineer, who also served as the Dewan of Mysore. Environmentalists <inaudible> 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 Karnataka is one of the few states which, while a leading contributor for GDP of the country and home for industries, has preserved its forests and wildlife. The evergreen Sayadri and Western Ghats are home to protected wildlife of Karnataka. The Kanadiga culture protects and balances Kadu forest and Nadu state as can be seen. Although seen scantly still the state enjoys the diversity owing to tribal sects of Soliga, Badaga, Genu Karuba, Haki Piki, Lambani, Siddhis and other inhabitants of forests. See Apiko Chalavali. Some noted environmentalists include Ullas Karanth, tiger research biologists, zoologist S.R. Ramaswamy Salumarada Thimaka Suresh Heblakar Pornachandra Tihazwi, ornithologist, literateur. Snake Shyam. Krupakar Sanani. Topic: <laughs> Current cricketers. K. L. Rahul. Abhimanu Mithun. Vinay Kumar. Stuart Binney. Srinath Arvind. Karu Jain. Topic: Retired cricketers. Anil Kumble, 
Javagal Srinath Gundapa Viswanath Vijay Bardwaj Venkatesh Prasad B.S. Chandrasekhar E.A.S. Prasanna Roger Bini Sunil Joshi Syed Kermani Shujith Somasundar Dada Ganesh David Johnson The Kanadiga culture Purana The Puranas describe the region as Kishkinda in the age of the Ramayana. There is also literary evidence that the region of Mysore was called Mahisha Mandala after the mythological demon Mahishasura. Parashurama and Hanumantha are some epic characters to be cited relating to this place. Punya Koti One of the most popular and acknowledged Janapada songs is Durani Mandala Madhyadalaj, which narrates an incident between mother cow and an aggressive tiger in a place called Karnataka. <laughs> Vishwa Manava Karnataka as now can be viewed as a multicultural state. Almost all the religions that can be found in India can be found here and there has been lot emigration as well due to which multi-ethnic diaspora can be seen. As the kingdoms provided a safe centers for development of all cultures we can see a huge diversities from region to region. Even the language and dialects varies from place to place. The language has evolved distinctly in both the backyard folk, basic, prakrutha and frontyard refined and related to samskrutha, sankrit of the culture. It can be said that the major works of Sanskrit have originated and continues to evolve here. Sringer, Udupi are some of nerve centers. One of the leading examples include a village near Shivamaga where people speak only Sanskrit till date. Bengaluru has almost all language speakers of India. One of the most acknowledged concept is to be a Vishwa Manava or universal being. In Kuvampu's ideology this has a renowned explanation. Every child is born as a Vishwa Manava or a universal human. It is we who make him Alpa Manava or little human by putting various constrictions of borders rituals and castes. It hence becomes responsibility of our culture to again make him a universal being unbound and free. The Kanadiga culture is known to provide shelter and self-respect to people by owning them and their culture. Two colonies for refugees from Tibet are formed, one near Mungad and one near Kushalanagara, protecting them from Chinese atrocities. Karnataka has sheltered flood victims of northeastern India like Assam and provided them jobs. One of the easily seen diversity is the surnames which vary from hugely like some may involve names involving a Hindu and Muslim name or having a Hindu Christian name more found in Mangalore or even a Muslim Christian name. Karnataka and parts of Maharashtra are the only states which have diversity of including Malinadu Nityaradwarna Evergreen Ghats and Bayalusim, which have different ways of living in the same state. Not only this, but it acts as a gateway to North and South Indian cultures. It may come as a surprise that Karnataka is next only to Rajasthan in India when it comes to area under arid land, but still, southern Karnataka is referred to as Gandada Gudi Temple of Sandalwood found in its protected forests. Topic. Political sphere After the Odiyar era who already had established democracy by naming elected representative called Samantha in southern regions as early as the 19th century, the 1947 partition brought a center into being under democracy and Karnataka accepted a bicameral legislature. But this was a functionally a failure as there always has been a tug of war from center and states to an extent that from the 1990s to 2010 there have always been different political parties operating at center and state. North Karnataka had other problems of getting independence more from Nizams. So there were two spheres. Lack of will and coordination and constant fights have been hallmark of politics which has prevented a regional party, media from arising in the land. Kerala being a neighbour where hugely successful communist ideology in bringing up literacy levels has a backing here and a few Naxalite outfits function in Karnataka. 
functional failure of all pillars of democracy even being upper riparian state can be clearly seen in the Kaveri River water dispute issue. The failure extended to bureaucracy and Karnataka reached the position of being fourth most corrupt state of India due to political and bureaucratic lobby. Because of this, Lokayukta was formed but could not get the required powers to deal with the powerful. In the field of press and journalism P. Lankesh and S. Gurumurthy are some of the noted ones famous for their leftist affiliations. Horanadu Kanadiga Horanadu Kanadigas or non-resident Kanadigas are Kanadigas who have migrated to another state or country, people of Kannada origin born outside Karnataka, or people of Kannada origin who reside permanently outside of Karnataka. N. R. Narayana Murthy, speaking at the 2011 World Kannada Conference, opined that Kanadigas who move out of the state are respected everywhere. Although the failure in political arena has reflected in the cultural isolation of emigrants, some of the successful functional bodies include Singara Singapore, Dahali Kanadiga New Delhi, Mumbai Karnataka Sangha Mumbai, Malaj Kannada Balaga Mauritius, North America Vishwa Kannada Association Navica, and Association of Kannada Kudas of America Aka in the United States have promoted cultural involvement through events such as Kanadatsava. The Kanadiga diaspora are found all over the world, mainly in the USA, the United Kingdom, Singapore, the UAE. Topic: <laughs> Kannada Kanadiga Karnataka. Topic: First and Second World Wars. After occupying Mysore, British had baited eight acres and a 75 rupees salary for battalions for World Wars from Karnataka. Kanadiga regiments got disbanded after World War II as per Imperial War Museum records, as historians still debate about exclusion of revolts from south of India's against British Indian Army. From September 1939 until August 1945, recruitment was done at regimental centre at Belagavi for the Madras Regiment, the Maher Regiment, and the Lingayat Regiment. In 2017, a panel has been set up to look into legalities of separate flag for Karnataka. The post-1947 scene During the period of British rule, state of Karnataka as it stands today did not exist. Areas that today comprise Karnataka were under as many as 20 different administrative units with the princely state of Mysore, Nizam's Hyderabad, the Bombay Presidency, the Madras Presidency and the territory of Kodagu being the most important ones. In effect, nearly two-thirds of what is now Karnataka fell outside the rule of the Wodyar kings of Mysore. In addition the proposed state had six neighbours—Goa, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala—and all had Kanadigas along the borders overlapping these regions. What this meant for the Kanadigas in these regions was that they were reduced to linguistic minorities wherever they were. Kanadigas in the Hubli Karnataka region for example, came under the rule of the Bombay Presidency where Marathi was the official language. Those in the Hyderabad Karnataka region came under the Nizam's rule where Urdu ruled, while in Mysore Kingdom, Kannada was the official language. It was in this backdrop that the movement that first started as a protest against linguistic oppression, soon morphed into one that began demanding a separate state be created consolidating all Kannada-speaking regions. This was essentially a movement that was spearheaded by the poets, journalists and writers and was called the Ekakarana or Unification movement. India gained independence in 1947. The joy of independence soon gave way to disappointment as the new government started dragging its feet on Karnataka Ekakarana movement. Kannada-speaking areas now got grouped under five administrative units of the Bombay and Madras provinces, Kodagu, and the princely states of Mysore and Hyderabad. The Akila Karnataka Ekakarana Parishat met in Kasargad and reiterated the demand for a separate state for Kanadigas. The ratification in Parliament of the recommendations of the Fazal Ali Committee brought joy to the Kanadiga population that now was merged under the state of Mysore. On 1 November 1973, under Devaraj Ors as Chief Minister, Mysore State was renamed as Karnataka since it was felt that Karnataka was more inclusive of all the other regions of Karnataka than the name Mysore. Kannada unification organizations currently active include Karnataka Vidyavardhaka Sangha 
Karnataka Ekakarana Samithi Karnataka Rikshana Vidai Kannada Chalavali Vedal Paksha Kannada ethnic flag The Kannada ethnic flag is a banner with two horizontal stripes, yellow on top and red on the bottom. The flag neither is official nor represents any legendary empire but has become accepted in recent times representing a symbol of culture and welfare. The flag was first conceived by Ma Ramamurthy, a Bangalore based writer, journalist, and social activist, often considered as a commander of Kannada movement in 1960s. See also Kannada film industry Kannada language Kannada literature Kannada poetry Karnataka Karnataka literature List of people from Bangalore List of people from Karnataka List of people of North Karnataka North Karnataka Sanganakalu Sirabhuvalaya, a unique literary work. <laughs>